John Hunt Morgan probably ended the war as the most famous Kentucky Confederate. He didn't start that way. He started out as a son of a prominent Lexington family, militia captain, Mexican War veteran, but uh, raised a unit of cavalry uh, and through daring exploits, raiding behind Union lines, getting captured, escaping from prison, uh, he ended up becoming a, a figure of uh, romantic interest. He embodied everything that, that Confederates wanted their cause to be about. Reckless abandon, chivalry, that sort of thing. In his cavalry units, you get to ride. It's independent work. It's going out behind enemy lines, uh, tearing up railroads, cutting down telegraph wires, and uh, disrupting supply lines. It's not, it's not hard infantry fighting in some of the big battles that we think about in the Civil War. There's a little bit more dash and romanticism to it. You get a saber, you get to be on a horse, you get to ride into town. Uh, and all the secessionist ladies come out and greet you with picnic baskets. And this is the kind of war that a lot of young men in Kentucky want to fight. Uh, and so in the summer of 1862, with this, this big influx of, of Confederate troops led by Morgan, a lot of men rush and join him uh, at that time. During the war, John Hunt Morgan, in the eyes of Kentucky Unionists and his neighbors here in Gratz Park, he's a pirate, he's a thief, he's a bandit. He lives outside the rules of civilized warfare. Esteem for Morgan only grows after the Civil War, and the nucleus of his commands, uh, you know, any of those men who ever served with him, uh, form veterans' organizations. They hold reunions in the name of Morgan's men. Uh, sort of, Morgan surpasses a lot of other Kentucky Confederates in the iconography, the statuary, the, the, the paintings, the literature, um, the stories and song. He surpasses a lot of Kentuckians who are more famous than he was before the war, more famous than he was in the early part of the war. But the, the fascinating thing is the degree to which uh, the, the, the hatred and fear of Morgan, which was prevalent among almost all Unionists in this state, really disappears. And, and, and even by uh, a couple of decades after the war, you see a lot of that, that anger um, really disappear. He, uh, he had a very limited military impact on the war, but his propaganda value, his, his, uh, his exploits, his fame uh, spread across the Confederacy and he became uh, really a, a hero of the lost cause. Also helped his reputation perhaps that he ended up uh, being killed in 1864 and so uh, never had to surrender. Uh, so joining the ranks of those Confederate heroes who didn't have to come home and, and live out uh, a messy reconstruction process.